My name is Brian Mercurio. I am a professor of international economic law at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and I was case author of this year's case. As the case author, what were your expectations? Well, I had previously been a, a panelist uh, last year, so I knew that the students would be well prepared and would uh, come into the competition with both mooting skills as well as WTO skills. Uh, I was uncertain as to whether uh, the case would be handled and tackled in the way that I anticipated. Uh, in some ways it was, and in other ways it, it was not, um, but I was pleasantly surprised because a number of the arguments the students had made um, I, I had not anticipated, uh, several of which actually were plausible arguments. Um, so I was, I was very keen to see how the students would respond to the question and very pleased with the, with the result. What does the EMC Square mean to you as a panelist? What does the EMC Square mean to me as a panelist? Um, again, as I mentioned, I, I was a panelist last year um, a, a, and seen it again this year from a different perspective of being case, case author as, as well as panelist. So I came into it better prepared. Um, but um, what it means to be a panelist is to actually see the students from a wide variety of countries all engaging with and tackling very difficult questions of WTO law and of, of, of public international law even broader. So um, the, the greatest thing to take from it is really the enthusiasm and, and, and uh, preparation that, that students put into the competition. And what would you tell a possible future participant? Prepare. One, um, but two, enjoy yourself. Uh, I mean, certainly in order to advance to the final or round, uh, students need to be well prepared both in WTO law as well as in mooting skills. You can't do one to uh, the detriment of the other. Um, but also the second is to, is to actually use the competition for a broader um, and, and, and more long-term horizons. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, why this, this competition is good is not only because of, of, the, of the question and because of the WTO law and the aspect of that, the, the substantive aspect, but also the opportunity students get to interact with, with, with others from around the globe. Um, these are people who, are, of course, should be long-term friends as well as perhaps future contacts um, for all participants. And what would you tell a uh, possible future panelist? Two things: prepare and have fun. <laughs> same thing as same thing as the participants. Um, you know, coming into this last year as a panelist, uh, I didn't know what to expect. And um, you know, from the first few minutes of, of of the first moot I judged, I was taken aback at at how much the students did know. Uh, so I think, from a panelist, of course, it is it is really to to get up to speed uh, or to refresh. I should I should rephrase to refresh. On, on various aspects of, of the law, um, but also, again, to enjoy it and to interact with the students as well, um, to talk to them about potential careers, to also just see um, you know, the differences and similarities between students from different, uh, different parts of the world and different you know, levels of, of, of wealth as well. And would, do you support the competition in the future? Of course I would support the competition in the future. It's always very well organized. Uh, it's always very well run. There are ample opportunities uh, for social activities as well as just focusing on, on the competition itself. So really it is, uh, it is a, a very good uh, competition, both from a panel perspective and I think from a student perspective as well. Uh, I'm Victoria Donaldson and I'm a counselor at the Appellate Body Secretariat. Victoria, what were your expectations before coming to this final round? Well, I have to say my expectations were fairly high because I've been involved in ELSA for a few years now as a panelist, and each year the quality of the competition and the submissions made by the students gets better and better. Um, and I would also say that my expectations uh, were, as is every year so far, sur surpassed. The, the quality was excellent. And what did the EMC Square mean to you as a panelist? Um, as a panelist, um, I think it's a great opportunity really to see um, the WTO uh, in action um, and to see it come alive through the arguments made by students from all over the world uh, in a very dynamic way. Um, and it's, it's really exciting. I mean, uh, we get to see in a very concentrated space of time 
uh, different arguments being made by different teams in a very creative way, in a very sophisticated way that in many respects um, often comes close to or equals the level that is made in, in the real life proceedings, which we get uh, on a much less frequent basis. So. Um, yeah, the competition as a whole, I think it's, it's really um, sets a very high standard of excellence and it's a great opportunity to come and see how different teams from all over the world deal with uh, these interesting issues that are put together each year by case authors. What would you tell a possible future participant? I would say just do it. Go ahead. Um, the competition, it's an intense experience. It does involve a lot of work. Um, it does involve a very technical area of law, but the more you embrace it and uh, see the different layers, you'll see just how interesting the legal aspects can be. But even beyond that, it's really the experience as a whole that I think the students enjoy, starting with their own team and the teamwork that they have to uh, achieve in order to get a good team result, and then also being able to go and participate in regional rounds and with good luck uh, maybe also the final rounds to really um, have the interaction with the other teams both in the mooting chamber and also outside uh, socializing with them and learning more about how things are done in other countries. So I think uh, it seems to be a great experience from a panelist side. I know it is and it certainly seems to be from a student side as well. And what would you tell a possible future panelist? I think the same thing. Just do it and embrace the experience. Um, uh, you know, there's a, a, a level of excellence amongst the students that really uh, makes it a very enjoyable experience, but at the same time you better be ready for some sophisticated arguments and come prepared with questions and being willing to probe uh, arguments that um, really, as I said, could be the same types of ones that would be made in actual dispute settlement proceedings. Would you support the competition in the future? Absolutely. As I said, I've been uh, involved with ELSA for a number of years. Uh, I found it to be a great competition, very well run, uh, and the great success really. Um, I think it's grown immeasurably over the years, and that is really a testament to the success of the competition and uh, how much uh, the students enjoy it and how popular it's become around the world. Uh, and I know the WTO in general has been very supportive of ELSA from the beginning, and I think everyone looks forward to uh, continuing collaboration in the future.